Yeah, he is not a uh, sober artist. No, the, the the people they often laugh, and that's very remarkable in the 17th century. And they smile or even laugh, which was hardly done. We nowadays we say we always laugh, but it was out of the question that you should show your teeth. That's that's against every etiquette. So that he shows them is very remarkable. Uh, he, he does this loose brushstroke, ah, because it belongs to the avant-garde of European art at this moment, but it has also a function. It shows a kind, it suggests a kind of, of movement, and he goes further than all the others in, in aspiring to, to, to show that movement. Well, the amazing thing is that there's three kind of great painters of 17th century Dutch art. Rembrandt, Vermeer, we've shown, and now Frans Hals. They all work in the same medium, um, oil paint on canvas, but they do something completely different with it. With Rembrandt, it's emotion and the human condition. With Vermeer, it's stillness. And with Franz Hals, it's movement and it's joy. Nearly everybody laughs on Franz Hals's pictures. And when you walk through the exhibition, you start laughing yourself because it's just, it's of a freedom with the brushstroke. Really, the brushstrokes, they dance over the canvas. And he was the first to discover this. If you really have a brushstroke that's so broad and he takes it to an extreme and so free, you get movement in the painting itself by the way you use your material and that's why we wanted to show Franz Hals because he's it's about joy and it's something we need. <laughs> 